Hey guys, uh, not beer, although I do have good German beer in the fridge, but it's hot out here. And uh, just gonna finish up my cherry coke, but uh, welcome back, World's Worst Fishing. I'm Chris Jones, and today we have a great popular color series for you. Uh, this is a color I've been asked to do. Um, it's a color I've wanted to do, just haven't done it. So today, we're doing PB&J. I'll put a picture up here on the screen, but um, this is a really pretty color. It's kind of like a brown or, or sort of like a Carolina pumpkin uh, mixed with like a June bug purple. And um, it really mixes together really well in the claws and extremities and things like that. So we're gonna run it in a creature bait and a frog because both of those have a lot of appendages where the two halves of the colors can meet and I think that will look really good as opposed to something without as many appendages. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking some Carolina pumpkin. This is just a brown from Lure Works. And then we're going to blend purple and black flake together to try to get a really rich purple to blend it together. And um, we're going to be doing uh, the grass grenade mold and, uh, and my custom frog mold. So um, anyway, this is PB and J, and uh, I hope you enjoy. All right, so again, PB and J, you have kind of like a brown with black flake mixed in with a really rich purple and black flake. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. So I have my dead on plastic swim bait blend. Um, I'm using uh, the swim bait blend because it's firm enough to make a great creature bait, flipping bait, also firm enough uh, to do a frog. Um, if I was doing worms or something soft, like a stick worm, uh, I would obviously use the worm blend. Um, however, we're going to go ahead and fire up these two, and then we will come right back and try and make this color. So I actually just got more silicone in. So this is 10 pounds of silicone. It's the same stuff I used uh, in the video where I made that swim bait mold. And uh, so this is MPK Enterprises. Uh, the website is Hobby Silicone. And uh, this is just like their medium blend. And uh, here's the catalyst. And uh, yeah, so we'll be making some more molds um, and, and doing some crazy stuff with that. And uh, throw, throw in some, some wild, wild stuff y'all's way, hopefully. Uh, I just gotta get a little better at mold making, but here's the tools to do it. And uh, hopefully we'll be bringing some of that uh, uh, back to the channel soon. So it's never a uh, bad idea to lubricate your injector. So I have some spray lubricant. You can also just take a bottle of worm oil and just kind of drip it into the nozzles while it's in the open position and then close it and just kind of cycle the lubrication through a couple times and uh, that gets your o-rings nice and lubricated and uh, which is good for safety and you have a nice smooth action um, and that goes for a double injector, a triple injector, and of course, a single injector. So, wanted to get that lubed up uh, before we start using. All right, so here we have our plastic cooked up, looking good. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and mix up our purple side. So, we're just gonna blend a little bit of black grape in with some of this purple. Sorry, I'm a little, little slow today. All right. Okay. That should give us a nice purple. So let's see what we're getting there. Yeah. Looking good. I actually want it to be a little darker. So we're going to add a little bit more black grape. And black grape is what I use for June bug. I just use straight black grape. However, I don't want it maybe quite as dark as just the black, oh perfect, as just the black grape because it needs to laminate 
um, with another color and uh, when you get it too dark you can't see the purple as well so um, a little lighter might actually be better so now we're just going to add some of this. this is Carolina pumpkin this is my favorite brown color just straight out of the box okay let's see what that's looking like yeah looking good let's see yeah perfect not too thick and uh, let's see gotta put this cap back on so next what we need is some flake so we're gonna add a little bit of black flake to both sides all right so one quarter teaspoon there one quarter teaspoon there and uh, and I'm sure you can do it different ways you can vary it up you can maybe only put flake on one side or maybe you know add some blue or purple flake to your purple side just to give that a little more life um, however we're gonna try to keep it pretty pretty close to, to what I see in pictures okay looking good there and looking good there all right so both sides are at about 325 degrees so uh, a nice low shooting temperature that's not too hot not too cold all you need is a light jacket all right so there's grass grenade Okay, here's another grenade, alright, another one, okay, feels pretty good, and now we're going to do a couple froggies, tell you what guys, I like this color already, I don't know why I've never done this, what an idiot, huh? Oh yeah, looking sexy y'all. All right, let's hope that turns out. All right, we went and got some German beer and we're back. <clears throat> so, it's time to take a few things out of the molds and see what we have. So, here are the frogs. Yeah, check that out. I did kind of like a uh, purple top with the um, brown bottom. You can see in the legs how it kind of um, blends together. Very nice in the legs. And that's why I wanted to do baits with extremities is because you have this lovely color blending in the legs. So we'll uh, try to get some variety, yeah. In fact, I could have gone lighter on the purple. You can see on the top side, it, it almost looks black. Um, when really, you can see there that it's purple. And uh, you just have to be careful not to mix your color too thick, which in this case, it looks like I did it just slightly too thick. All right, let's take a look at the uh, creature baits here. And just kind of see, see what's going on, get these little squigglies out of the way. Looks like the plastic's done in the microwave. Yeah, looking a little better. Yeah. You can really see it in the tails. I mean, that is a really, really cool shade right there. So, <clears throat> if I was to mix this up again, I would actually go lighter on both sides. Um, you, you can see there's really not any transparency there so I would go lighter on the brown and lighter on the purple and I think you would get a little bit better blending I like the two colors but I definitely think the purples a little deep or uh, excuse me the purples a little thick all right so we're gonna try it again this time we have brightened the two colors um, so they should not be quite as thick and the purple should be a little lighter um, so Fingers crossed that we'll get uh, something maybe a little better on this go around. Okay. Uh, there's grass grenade one. Ooh. Plastic going everywhere. Grass grenade two. Okay. Grass 
Okay. Top that off. Brass grenade three. All right. And some froggies. You know what? I did the frogs wrong. Dead gummit. I did. Pretty sure I just did the brown side on the top. So those may look like doo doo. But uh, anyway, that's what we're working with. We'll see what happens. All right, let's take a look at the frogs. Yeah, I did them brown side up, but that's okay. Yeah. I do think the, uh, the actual shade of purple um, works a little better. I think there's just kind of overall better blending there. Let's contrast it Oop. with the earlier frog. So that's the frog from earlier. Okay. You may not can tell a difference on camera, but the purple is definitely lighter here, and uh, and I think it I think it does look better, uh, especially getting to see it in real lighting. And you know I kind of actually kind of like it better with the brown side on top. Not really sure why. I figured you know I usually do like you know the darker side on top, lighter sides on bottom. But that's not bad. Doesn't make a bad frog color at all. Okay, take a look at some of the uh, creatures here. Yeah, that's already a lot better. Look at how much better the color blends. And uh, and this still isn't, I think, as good as you can get it. Um, yeah, but that's much more right on the money. Let's let's look at it with the one from before. You know, it's just darker. You see less purple. There's less blending on the bottom side, I think. <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely this is definitely a winner right here. I like that a lot better. Yeah, and there are the new grenades right there in the uh, newer and improved uh, version of PB and J. I still think you could probably get the purple lighter and maybe get a little more blending throughout the bait um, but that right there is really not bad and like I said I've never made this color my first run was was decent I'd fish them um, but I think I think it definitely was an improvement to lighten the the colors try to bring out the purple a little more because when it's dark you can't really see the purple in it it just looks dark uh, there's no other way to put it so I think bringing out the purple a little bit and um, and then lightening the colors allows for better blending on the extremities and uh, I think that improved the entire look of the bait. Yeah, so I'm outside now and uh, I think the sunlight, you know, natural light really brings out the colors. So you can see how pretty of a color it is and, uh, and I think you can definitely see the purple a little bit better uh, looking at it this way. Sorry, my garbage cans are in the background. We'll get the truck in the background. But uh, yeah, that's what the color really looks like. So real quick everyone, uh, I am going to put the baits from today's video up for sale. So I have, uh, let's see, I have eight frogs. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen grass grenades. Um, so uh, if you guys are interested in some PBJ, um, I'll kind of include them all together. And, uh, and let me, and you can, you know, uh, if, if you do buy them, let me know which ones you like better, the darker or the lighter. And... Um, yeah, so uh, whoever sends me an email, um, they're yours if you want them. We'll, uh, we'll work out some pricing. But uh, anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that uh, if you like the baits from today, you can make them yours. Prost. Oh, Deutsch beer. Can't beat it. But uh, that's going to wrap this video up today. So, again... Here's what we did, or little snapshot of it at least. Hopefully that's looking all right. And uh, yeah, something new, PB and J. So if you've uh, if you've wanted to learn that color, um, I think that's a good starting point. Just kind of break out your June bug pigment or your purple pigment. You know, try it with each one straight first, 
and uh, blend it kind of like I did if, if you uh, don't get what you want and just try to really lock it in and uh, for a brown just use a light shade of brown I like to use that uh, Carolina pumpkin uh, from lure works that stuff looks great no matter what and uh, I think as long as you do that sorry I got a burp I think you'll get a good result and um, it's it's not too terribly difficult of a color but I think the challenge is to get the the blending right in the extremities and to make and, and for the purple to look like a rich purple and not too dark so um, with that said we're gonna sign off and uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, we'll definitely be back with more popular colors soon it's uh, it's a little hot out here it's yeah I mean heck we're in the middle of summer down here in Florida so last three days it has hit 100 degrees plus and uh, my garage is no stranger to it so uh, it's uh, it's definitely a little hot but um, yeah we're gonna sign off thank you guys so much for watching shoot me a comment down below let me know how uh, you think I did and uh, as always please like subscribe hit the notification bell and we'll see you next time